Shalom friends, I'm Rabbi Jacques Kukirkorn, and I want to talk to you about this week's Torah portion, which is Emor. In it, we learn certain rules concerning the priesthood, the Kohanim. They have to be perfect because they offer service to God, just like as the sacrifice is perfect, they have to be perfect. And one of the many things they are forbidden to do is to be in touch with them. And that is kind of puzzling because that may lead one to think that death is what impurifies it. The, the contact with the corpse is what impurifies the, the coin the priest. But in reality, I believe it's something else. We need to understand the Bible was written in the context of people who knew about Egypt, had been in Egypt, and in Egypt, for the Kohanim, the, of the priests of Egypt, their whole business was death. They made lots of money of that, they derived the power from that, they took care of people in their final stage, they mummified them. So priests were involved with death all day long. In Judaism it is exactly the opposite. We, the, the Kohanim, are involved with life. They serve God, they teach, provide all kinds of assistance, make sure that the worship of God goes on. However, there is an interesting rule that says that they are not allowed to be in touch with corpses, other than if it is their own immediate family. Immediate family will be father, mother, brother, sister, husband, or wife, son, or daughter. In that case, they are exempted. And they must take care of the preparation and burial to those closest to him. That is, in fact, an obligation for every Jew. This mitzvah of Levayat Hamet, of helping final preparations for, for the dead, is a great one in Judaism, because it's the only one that we do for people without the expectation, without the possibility of repayment. But at the same time, why is the Kohen made Tame impure by being counted with the dead? Because what makes him impure is that he shifts his focus from life to death. And that's what causes him to be, for a while, unable to re-engage in the process of life. And that for a Cohen was a big burden because if he couldn't work, he wouldn't get his share of food. There would be lots of repercussions for him. But that teaches us that to respect and mourn our dead is a quintessential value. And you know, participate in all that uh, brings holiness in our lives through, through the respect for the dead, ultimately the respect for life. Even after death, we can continue to, to value and to honor that relationship that have existed in our lives. Shabbat Shalom. Hope to see all of you services Fridays at 6 o'clock. Shalom.